Hello, today we're going to create a simple SDK that will hit this uh, REST API. So the, this REST API should return this JSON. Now we are going to create two projects. The first one is a simple SDK and then we're going to build this SDK and it will become a dependency to the other project. So let's start. So we need to create first a the first one, which is a uh, SDK project. So we'll just name this uh, project uh, SDK client. So we need to configure our POM with uh, the dependency that we need. So uh, I just specify here that uh, we're going to use uh, Java 17 and the required dependency is the uh, open fin and the uh, spring aspect. Okay, then uh, also the uh, build uh, we need the compiler plugin and then the deploy plugin since we're going to uh, install this as a Maven project and uh, uh, install in our local machine. So let's go to the coding part. So let's create the required Java folder and then uh, the package okay so let's just set it up uh, here the version is one zero okay and our uh, group id as home that my company okay so let's start with the uh, fin class which is of type interface so uh, fin client Let's externalize uh, these uh, parameters. Uh, SDK name, then URL, SDK URL, then the path, SDK path. Then the endpoint get uh, post. Okay. So from the resource folder, we're going to create the property. So SDK properties, and then we need to declare uh, these three properties, name, URL, and path. So here, and then call my company. URL which in this case is uh, this one until here 
then com company SDK part right okay so let's create the SDK client itself SDK client which uh, requires a SDK client parameter of type uh, fin client fin client cross client then declare this one a private final SDK client Then uh, the method itself get post which is in client get post. Then let's create the uh, SDK configuration here this is an auto configuration property source which is on the class path so we need to point for the sdk properties and then uh, we need to annotate this one as enable main client okay from here SDK client uh, no fink client fink client then darn new the fink configure is uh, the one on resources so we can delete this section and then uh, let's delete this one first then meta nf and then the folder or directory spring then we need to create a file here which is called org spring frame work boot auto configure auto configuration then imports and then here we'll just need to import the uh, SDK config. So we created our first uh, simple SDK. Okay, so let's uh, install this uh, Maven project in our local machine all right so uh, this project is already installed uh, and can be used as a uh, maven dependency so the group ID is uh, call my company and the artifact ID is uh, SDK client. So let's try to use this one on our simple application. So we just need to add the dependency 
which is web then generate the project So let's open that one. All right. So uh, let's add the dependency that we just created. Uh, which is uh, the SDK client and then the group ID is comb my company and then the version is 1.0 so this is the uh, Maven project that we created earlier so let's just reload okay so we already loaded the sdk client that we have created here okay so let's try to use that one to query test controller this one is uh, the rs controller and then uh, let's get a mapping which is to the post and uh, let's just return a string get post okay then here uh, let's auto wire the uh, SDK client SDK client then client then this client uh, has a, a get post method so return client get post okay so our expectation is that when we do this it will call uh, this endpoint and will return this string okay so let's test all right so we 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 got an issue on our sdk uh, so we need to fix that one so let's go back on our sdk uh, we actually forgot to create a bini here uh, so conditional on missing bin so we specify here and uh, only create the bin if uh, it doesn't exist so let's install this again okay then uh, on our test app let's just reload it so uh, basically uh, what I do is just comment this out reload and then uncomment it so that it will reload the latest uh, build then let's run this again all right so our service is up so let's try to hit this endpoint post and uh, check if it will return the string so the port is uh, 77005 curl http local host 707 7005 slash post all right so we're able to retrieve the string from 
this URL. Now, uh, you could actually enhance this further by uh, creating this uh, DTO with the ID and title and then uh, instead of returning a string, uh, return a list of posts. So that's it. Happy coding!